Good afternoon, everybody. I don't know where I left you last, but it is Friday the 11th. Tomorrow is Matt and Mai's two-year wedding anniversary, and then Matt's birthday is actually on Monday. So we're going out tonight with some friends, and then I don't know what we have planned for our anniversary. We're pretty chill people. We don't, like, plan crazy big things for our anniversary. We'll just, like, go out, get some lunch. There's a car museum. Matt kind of wants to go see some BMWs. <laughs> Hang with Tahoe, go to the dog park. I don't know. We, we're just not very like, oh my God, it's our anniversary. We have to go get dressed. And that's just not who we are. So, um, but yeah, um, I'm about to do my makeup. So I just grabbed a few things out of my makeup drawer to do my makeup on my desk so I can like listen to other things and you know, do other things while I'm doing my makeup. So this is kind of what I have out. And I'll show you what I do. So I don't know if you want me to talk through this or what, but I'm gonna probably speed it up, but I'm just cleaning my face first. I'm gonna knock all the other stuff I already had on there. Hey guys, I just wanted to hop on here with a little voiceover um, while I do my makeup. So I am cleaning my face with the simple cleansing wipes just to get all the other stuff I'd already applied in my face off. And then I'm using the L'Oreal Hydrogenous as sort of my first primer. I do a fairly dry skin, so I just want to make sure I give my face some moisture before I put on foundation and stuff. And then I'm going to use the Benefit Pore Professional, and I am using it all over my face today. I normally would just concentrate it on my T-zone and use something else on the rest of my face, but I was feeling pretty textured that day, so I just decided to use it all over. I still mainly focus it on my T-zone and then spread it out from there. I don't use very much, just like a pea-sized amount all over my face will do it for this stuff. And then I'm going to use the Clinique Even Better Foundation, which I'm about to show you. And I have used two colors. I used the color Fair and Buttercream. Buttercream, I don't think exists anymore. They renamed them. Um, I'll link everything down below if you're interested in what I'm using. And first I'm applying it with my hands. I like this better than applying it with a brush or with a sponge initially. I feel like I get better coverage with my hands. I know it freaks some people out, but I just like kind of swipe it all over my face first with my hands. And then I go in with my Real Techniques blending sponge to blend it all out and make it look seamless. Um, I'm also making sure to blend it down my neck and onto my ears a little bit just to make sure everything um, looks good. I do have a little bit of like a tan going. You can't really tell because I'm wearing long sleeves and a shirt, but I just want to make sure everything matches and looks good. I take a really long time to blend because I just want to make sure everything looks really, really seamless and good. Um, I think foundation and like a base is the most important part. So then I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer um, in Fair, and I'm using this to highlight the middle of my face. I use something else underneath my eyes, so I just get this on my forehead, bridge my nose, keep its bow and chin, and then I'm blending it out again with my Real Technique sponge. And then underneath my eyes, I'm going to use the Maybelline Age Rewind. Um, hi Tahoe. And I just make triangles under my eye. I don't think this has the greatest coverage. I think if you put a, a color corrector on underneath it, it would be better, but it's pretty good. And I blend it out again with my Real Techniques sponge. Then I'm going to use my Clinique powder. I don't remember the name of it right now, but I'll, like I said, I'll link it. Usually I would, would use something else underneath my eyes, but it was just a casual look, so I figured this would be fine all over my face. So I use one brush underneath my eyes and then a big fluffy brush to pat that out all over my face and onto my neck. Um, I like to pat it on first and then I'll kind of swirl around and blend it in. So then I'm going to use my Bronze Booster by Physicians Formula as my bronzer and kind of a contour. I don't really contour that much, but I like this shade because it's not super warm, so it feels like it gives my face some definition as well as the warmth. So um, I really like this one. It doesn't have any shimmer. It's matte, and it's really, really nice. So then I'm going to go in with the Benefit California. 
um, blush and I'm just not sure how I feel about this. It's very, very pigmented, so I'm using a stippling brush. I'm lightly going in and just giving myself a little bit of color. I do like that it has a little bit of a shimmer in it, and so it gives you a nice little glow, and I think the color is really pretty, but it's just so pigmented, and it's, sometimes it's hard to use. And then I'm going to take... I'm blending that a little bit more. And then I'm going to take... Um, my Wet n Wild Boozy Brunch Highlighter on a fan brush and I like to give myself a lot a lot of glow like I said I have some I have dry skin so highlighting for me is really important I think it makes my skin look nice and healthy and very like wet and moisturized which I really really enjoy so I put that I put that a lot of places <laughs> and then I'm gonna use my Naked 2 Basics palette it's just an all matte palette and I'm using that fourth shade there, and I'm just putting that in my crease um, just to define the crease a little bit. I'm going for a really, really simple makeup look because we're just going out to a bar, so nothing crazy. So I'm just blending that back and forth and making sure it's really nice and diffused and just gives my eye a little bit of a shape. And then I'm going to go in with a L'Oreal Infallible Shadow. It's an amber rush. It's one of my favorite shadows. And I'm just taking that on my finger. You can use a brush with this, but I like to just apply it with my finger, especially if I'm doing a look like this. And just get it really nice all over the place. And it's nice and diffused that way. I'm going to take my brush again and just blend everything out. Make sure those edges are nice and blended together so it's not like a harsh line. And I'm going to take that Boozy Brunch shade again, and I'm using that as my inner corner highlight and to highlight my brow bone. I love this highlighter. I think it looks good everywhere. Um, clearly, I apply a lot of it. And I'm going to take two separate setting sprays. I know it sounds excessive, but first I use the Chill Setting Spray from Urban Decay and then I use the All Nighter from Urban Decay and I like the combination because the chill kind of makes all the powder like sit and like melt into your face so you don't look like cakey or powdery or anything and then All Nighter really extends your makeup. I think it does a really good job of keeping my makeup on for a long time and I'm just using a little fan to dry it all down faster. And then I'm just saying I forgot my eyebrow pencil so I'm just gonna use both sides of this pixie um, I usually don't use the pencil side of this pixie duo but um, it works it's good it just I don't like the shape of it I'd rather use a pencil but for a quick look I didn't feel like getting up and getting my NYX eyebrow pencil so this works um, I'm not sure of the color so like I said I will link it down below and let you know what color I am using but the gel on this is really really good it does like feel like hairspray on your eyebrows so if you don't like something that like really locks your eyebrows in you probably won't like this but I like that look my eyebrows tend to like go everywhere and I tend to like rub them a lot for some reason so I like that this really really holds them in place and then I'm going to go in with a little eyeliner this is the L'Oreal infallible eyeliner I'm just taking it on my tight line just to fill in um, the gaps in my eyeline, my eyelashes before I put on mascara. And then I'm taking my favorite mascara, which is a Maybelline Lash Sensational, and it's in waterproof. Um, I think this does a really good job of like making my eyelashes look really, really long. I use um, black brown because I don't like the way black looks on my eyelashes, but I do like I like it the hint of the brown it gives me. So. Um, yeah, I'm using that. I put on a couple coats because I want my eyelashes to look really, really long. And I don't like wearing falsies, so lots of mascara is key. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this voiceover. If you want to see more makeup tutorials, let me know. I think I say the same thing later, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye. Okay, so this is my finished look. I just did a simple little eye, nothing too crazy. Um, yeah, oh, I gotta put lipstick on still, but 
I'm gonna use my trusty little NYX. But um, yeah, we're just going to like a tap room. So I just want to put on a little bit of makeup. I like, we don't go out that often. So when I do, I like to, you know, put on a little bit. Um, yeah, but I make a lot of faces when I make my makeup. Does anyone else have this problem? They get like creases just because they make so many faces. Like I don't have lines there. Like I don't have wrinkles. But I just make so many faces that like, it all just like settles in. I, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, this is what I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna wear yet, but this is my makeup look. Hey guys, future Jacqueline here. I just wanted to pop on and let you know that this is actually going to be the end of this little mini vlog. And then the next thing you're going to see is going to be our anniversary. Um, I just decided I wanted to break this two pieces up so that way I could catch up and have it be more like present time. Um, and not always be like two weeks behind. So I'm hoping to like make them more present. Um, also, if you want to see more makeup things, let me know. I am by no means a makeup artist. I like putting makeup on my face. Um, I enjoy doing it. So if you want to see more, let me know. But that's going to be the end of this one. So I will see you in the next adventure. Bye.